Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about just starting out. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a professional programmer, what tip can you give someone who just started to learn how to program? <clears throat> well, uh, I can give you a few tips. Uh, the first thing I would tell you is that you should be prepared for that Programming may or may not be something that comes naturally to you, but I think that you have to uh, think about this a little bit as getting into shape. Think about it this way. You are now starting a journey. That's what you're doing. With some goal that you've made for yourself, you want to be able to do something. You probably have a picture in your head of the thing you want to achieve, just as someone who wants to get into shape kind of has some idea, oh, I want to lose this amount of weight, or I want to build some muscle, or something like that. And you're going to have to work for it most of the time. Uh, there's going to be a lot of confusion, and then there's going to be a lot of times where you you may feel like, I don't really understand this, I'm the dumbest human being who has ever lived. I want you to understand that all of this is completely natural. It's all part of the journey, just as it's when you're building muscles, it's part of the journey to feel unmotivated to go, on, go, to, the, go to the gym on some days and so forth. It's the same thing. It's going to take effort to do this well. It's also going to be a lot of fun. It's also going to be extremely rewarding. And when you get good enough at it, uh, it's very likely that this uh, profession will become a very big part of who you are going forward. It's, uh, it's similar to finding a sort of identity, if that makes sense, for a lot of people. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way for you, but at the very least, it's going to be a set of skills that you are going to find useful for most things that you could do in the IT age. Um, and I think that uh, you should be aware of that. Try to... Uh, I know that just as if you wanted to get into shape, it's going to be very tempting for you to... and it's fine if you just buy into this stuff, but you, because you're gonna learn uh, it's the one way or the other. There's a lot of content, there's a lot of uh, books and videos and bloggers and YouTubers and so forth. Uh, who will try to, just as in the fitness industry, sell you the eight minute workout or the equivalent in programming and then they're going to try to convince you that there are quick wins or there are quick ways to get really good at, so at programming. Uh, and I will tell you that in some cases, yes, you could learn some things very quickly, but to be really good at software development and if your end goal is to become a professional, you are going to look at the personal investment that is going to span at the very least a year maybe statistically one to five years there are really no ways around this my friend like uh, it, it really is the same thing as with fitness those eight minute workout videos they're not gonna they're not the thing that's going to get you into shape it's a more significant effort than these kind of quick um, shortcut uh, strategies that really own they, they don't really work for the average person and the same thing is true for programming it's something that is uh, it's you're gonna let it take time and I know that's not maybe the funnest thing in the world but try to have fun while you're doing this thing I think that that is a very good perspective for you to have uh, and it's something that many people f I think lose track of because you you look ahead and you and it's great to look ahead and it's great to have a vision or a goal or somewhere where you where you want to head, uh, but don't forget to have fun on the way there, because if if you're not having fun while you're learning or while you're doing the thing you're doing and the only reward that you're ever gonna feel is when you achieve something, well then you're going to be miserable for most of the time you get there and you might even not get there in the end and then well then the whole thing might have felt like you did it for nothing i don't believe that there is such a thing i believe any motion in any direction is going to be useful to you somehow but try to i, I really urge you to do that try to have fun uh, try to have a good goal somewhere you, where you want to head but don't forget to have fun on the way there because that way you can never lose then because it doesn't matter how, how things turn out because you've enjoyed the whole journey. Apart from that, uh, I would say that 
I, I would give you the tip, Try to, uh, in the beginning it's going to feel like you have a million choices and technically you do have a million choices when it comes to different languages and different text, like different tools and so forth. Here's my tip to you, try to just trust me on this one and just pick something that seems sort of relevant. Don't get into this decision paralysis that I, I deal with quite a lot of people who have this, where they're trying to figure out what the next big language is going to be, or the thing that there's the language that they can get good at that's going to give them the biggest money, or the most secure job position, or something like that. Uh, or and some people don't even go there. They're like trying to figure out well, what is the most performant language, which is the best language. Like they're trying to figure out how can I. It's sort of the same thing for someone who's going to buy buy a car or whatever. They're trying to figure out how can I get the most out of this thing for w the investment I'm going to make. And there are people who do this in everything guys like literally everything everything from running shoes like they don't they want to go jogging so instead of going jogging with a pair of sneakers that will like do the job they're trying to research what shoes will give them the best i don't know aerodynamics or whatever uh, same thing with star like they're, they're more about the stuff like you want to start learning how to play the guitar well instead of playing the guitar or with any guitar and just learning how to do the chords and things like that they try to figure out what is the best learning guitar which is the best whatever whatever don't do that try to avoid this try to do this simple thing ask yourself what your goal is and let's assume now for the sake of argument that your goal is to have a job or work as a so professional software developer then go to the job postings in your region and look at what are the what, what's the most popular uh, language in your region and pick that as your first language just based on that based on absolutely nothing else this seems to be the thing that everybody is requesting and start there the thing that seems to be most in demand most popular and then completely ignore all the people that are going to tell you that it's a shit language and oh no it's uh, it's not as good as i don't know some other language that is much more performant or it's a better work experience or whatever don't think about that so much because the thing is you think about learning a programming language as well the same sort of investment as if you took out a massive mortgage and now if that and you start your own business or whatever you invest in something and now if that thing doesn't turn out well for you well you might have fucked up your entire future that's not how it works with programming languages there's actually this is actually like it's much more inclined to be something along the lines of exercise where even if let's say that you were a runner and then you decide you want to be a bodybuilder well this time that you spent running it's not wasted time. You still have earned um, benefits from learning how to run, and now you're doing something else. You switch, so you, you know, you switch language, or you switch um, the type of exercising you're doing, and now it's just a different thing. And th most of what you've already acquired is going to transition. It's not something that you're wasting time on. So if you start with a language that seemed to be the right language for your region and then you say get a job or something and then the next job comes up and you realize that hey there's another language that might be interesting or something I need to learn in order to get the next job then you acquire that instead and I promise you the stuff that you already learned a lot of that is going to transition so you don't have to be scared that you're picking the wrong stack or the wrong language you just pick something that is fairly mainstream for the thing that you want to do and I promise you you will have more than enough opportunities to correct that choice or change it or uh, statistically it's very likely that you will actually learn more languages than one before your career is over so don't get into this f don't indulge this fear that you will make an incorrect decision because as long as you go with something something like literally anything that is fairly mainstream for the thing that you want to do it's almost impossible for you to make an incorrect decision so what I want you to take away from this is that the two biggest tips I can give you, like there are more that I could give you of course, uh, would be first and foremost to understand that programming is very similar to getting into shape. It's going to take effort and it's not always going to be fun, it's not always going to be, it's not, you're not going to progress as much as you might want to sometimes. It's going to be very rewarding for you and I think you're going to have a lot of fun. And try to remember that 
the the best thing for you is to enjoy the process of getting there because as long as you enjoy taking these smaller steps to learn one little thing and then learning the next little thing and then continuing that process you will have fun while you're doing this and you will reach the end goal you're much more likely to actually get to be a professional software developer or one of the top developers in the industry or so forth if you actually enjoy what you do so try to do that don't try to rush this thing unnecessarily because it's not something that you're going to be able to learn in these absurdly short amounts of time which is like a few weeks or a few months it takes much longer to be a good to become a software developer but in the end I think that if you enjoy it you're going to uh, it's going to be worth it, worth it it's going to be worth the the toil of getting uh, getting to a point where you actually know what you're doing second thing is make sure that you just pick something that is mainstream for the thing that you want to be doing. It doesn't matter if you picked the perfect language or the perfect stack because there's no such thing. There are pros and there are cons with each choice, but in the beginning it's more important for you to just make any choice that is going to be useful for you to get to where you want to be. And then you can learn other things. You're not losing time. You're not making a bad investment. You're simply picking something, starting there, and seeing how that goes. Uh, goes, trying to push that as far as, as far as possible. And odds are, if you just pick the most boring, obvious thing for your region, that you're going to get a job and you're going to get into the, the industry and all of this good stuff. And then in the future, you might change your mind and go, yeah, no, you know what? No, I want to do something else. And most of the things that you've already learned, they're going to transition into the next thing. I promise you, you're not wasting time, and there's no, no, you don't have to be scared that you are betting your future on the wrong stack, because it's, it's not. You, you can always change your mind, and you won't have lost any time doing so. Have a great day.